we first uh, started out, myself and Rudy, a handful of guys, we were just out there having a good time. And uh, <clears throat> we were, uh, you know, really having a blast and really enjoying it. And, and, and the phone was ringing and, and people were hearing word was spreading. And, um, you know, we were just uh, trying to make a few extra bucks. And uh, then we started thinking, uh, maybe, maybe this, this, there could be more to this. You know, and I remember talking to Rudy and saying, you know, I'm thinking about uh, maybe uh, really going somewhere with this. Focusing on this and, and taking it seriously. And, and he said, well, where do, where do you expect to go with this? Where do you, where do you think it's going to take it? Where, where, what's the end game? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. But the reason I said that was because I didn't have the confidence to say what I was really thinking, which was, we can really take over the city. You know, we can really take over this country. Because I saw the results that come when you go out there and put your heart and soul into something. I saw what happens when you go out there and give 110% for the customer. You know, I heard customers crying because we were booked and they couldn't get us uh, to move them. You know, I said, we've got something special. And if this formula keeps going, if every time we move somebody, we get a whole bunch of people calling us that are their friends and connections, if you do the math, eventually we'd be the only mover in the country. Well, of course, the only reason that doesn't happen is because, you know, prices go up. Uh, we need to hire infrastructure, we need to charge more, and a, and a few things go wrong here and there. But, you know, if we maintain those standards, that's what can happen. So, I could see where this could go. What I didn't know was, was I the person that could do it? And uh, one thing was clear to me, and that was that I sure as hell couldn't do that. So what did I have to do? I, I had to surround myself with really great people. And uh, that's the thing I'm proudest of. The fantastic people that, that I've got around me. Because I knew I couldn't do it without great people around me. And that's what we have now. And I'm no longer going to say, let's just see what happens. What I'm saying now is, look at where the future really is. We are to be the best moving company in the world. We are going to take over this country. And we are going to provide opportunities for any of you that want them. Any of you that want to go out and make this happen somewhere else. Because we've got something special. And even now, even now when we have, you know, uh, tight margins, etc., we know that we're doing all the right things. And that eventually there's going to be a lot of success. <clears throat> and it will give everybody, every one of you and everyone else that joins the team, an opportunity to make a really good living. That said, I think it's so important for you when you go out every day to feel a sense of pride, to feel like you're, you're, you're playing for a winning team, that there's something here to be excited about, that we are out to change the face of moving in the United States, one customer at a time, one day at a time. Thanks.